should you turn your machine off without pressing e-stop? Now, a lot of people had some really strong opinions. Well, here I am in front of a 17 version machine. I'm not going to talk about every machine. I'm just saying this one. Let's see what happens if I just press e-stop. Listen, a little bit of a click. Look right here. Z fell just uh, two tenths or so. Let's try it again. Ah, I just heard the brake engage and Z fell a little bit. Machine if it's active, watch the head and listen. Boom, you could hear and see the head fall a little bit. So let's do the test again. I'm gonna turn the machine back on, clear all the alarms, make the servos active, then I'm gonna press E stop in and then I'm gonna turn it off and let's see how much does the head fall. Now I'm not speaking to every machinist with every machine, but right here, with 17 version software, this is the way that this machine works. Now, if you wanna get into the nitty gritties of the electrical as to what happens when you press e-stop with me, comment below and I'll run anyone through the whole e-stop string and the power off string and the automatic power off string and let's break down exactly what happens. So we're back on, let's clear all the alarms. Remember, if I press e-stop, the head goes a little bit of a click. Now, if I turn the machine off, the head's gonna fall. Let's press e-stop in and let's turn it off. No fall. There's my reasoning behind why on this version of software for this machine that you should always press e-stop in. I'm gonna have to try it on 18, 16, 15, 14, uh, basically to nine, pre nine, pre 10 that they had the hydraulic uh, pneumatic counterbalance. So you really aren't gonna see it drop unless your hydraulic counterbalance is low. That is a tip from Aaron, the CNC repairman.